we will be discussing about acceleration analysis using the relative acceleration method, which is actually a graphical method of analyzing acceleration. This is just an extension of the relative velocity method. In the relative velocity method, we will have a certain equation like this where the velocity of B in this particular four bar linkage, we have the velocity of B unknown and it is to be equal to the velocity of A plus the relative velocity of B with respect to A. And we have to draw the velocity polygon. The velocity polygon is given by this, this figure here, the velocity of A perpendicular to this uh, link to the relative velocity of B with respect to A is drawn to the point perpendicular to AB and we know the direction of the velocity of B so that we do it here. So on this basis, we can proceed into the analysis of acceleration. And the equation now is similar to this. This is now the acceleration of B equal to the acceleration of A plus the acceleration of B with respect to A. And if we have to get the components, we will have the normal acceleration of B plus the tangential acceleration of B equal to normal acceleration of A plus the tangential acceleration of A plus the normal acceleration of B with respect to A and the tangential acceleration of B with respect to A. So with all of, the, with all of this, we can proceed with the uh, determination of uh, the various components and uh, understand which are to be solved. This uh, acceleration of B normal is just uh, given by this equation. Acceleration of B normal is equal to the velocity of B squared over O for B. And uh, we know this velocity of B. We know that uh, particular link, link four. So we know this magnitude. Uh, we know this velocity, this acceleration. We know its magnitude it has to be uh, towards the axis of rotation. And we, we can determine the magnitude. Now, the acceleration of B tangential, actually this one, is not known. But we know that this is along this line, perpendicular to O4 B. So uh, we can just put up a check here so that uh, it should signify a known direction, but we don't know the magnitude. This particular component will have two checks. We know the magnitude and we know the direction. So the other components will have to be acceleration of A normal. The acceleration of A normal is just equal to the velocity of A squared over O to A. And it has to be that particular vector, we know the magnitude, we know the direction, we can say. And the acceleration of A tangential will have to be equal to alpha 2 multiplied by O to A. So again, we know the magnitude, we know the direction. So again, we can check this. The other one is this. The acceleration of B with respect to A normal can be derived by the velocity of B with respect to A squared over AB, which is just, of course, this velocity vector and this AB is this length AB. So again, we know the direction, we know the magnitude. But this one, we know the direction we do not know the magnitude. But that, that is to be equal to, I mean, uh, or perpendicular to AB. So with that, we can draw 
the acceleration polygon. And we'll start with this one. This can be drawn here. From O, that is the acceleration of B normal. And uh, this tangential component will have to be along the line. We do not know the magnitude yet, but we know the direction. The acceleration of A normal is this one. The acceleration of A tangential is given by this vector. The acceleration of B with respect to A normal component is to be along that line, so we can add it here. And the tangential component will have to be drawn through the end of this uh, vector, and there is an intersection here. This intersection gives us the point that could define to us the total acceleration of B. But this particular vector here is the acceleration of P tangential. So with that, we can easily find the acceleration or the, the angular acceleration of body 4. Angular acceleration of body 4 is just equal to the acceleration of B tangential over O for B. And again, the acceleration of B is equal to the acceleration of B normal plus the acceleration of B tangential, which we have defined by our acceleration polygon.